We flew from Orlando, Florida to San Jose, Costa Rica, and once in San Jose, we jumped on a smaller plane for a 40-minute flight to the Osa Peninsula, which is where Crocodile Bay Resort is located. Crocodile Bay Resort is just a beautiful place. There are so many neat things on site. And you can walk over these little bridges where you can see some caimans and crocodiles and other wildlife as well in the water. So the goal for today was to go out and catch some rooster fish. It was sunny for like five days straight and then all of a sudden we lost all of our light and it was completely cloudy out for our day of inshore fishing. We made our first stop and started trolling some pilchards. And right away, we hooked into a rooster fish. Oh, a little baby rooster. Got that rooster fish close to the boat and I grabbed him by his tail and pulled him in. Little baby rooster. All right, that's a good way to start it off out here. Got an overcast day at a Crocodile Bay Resort here in Costa Rica and just started trolling some little pilchards that we uh, sabikied up earlier with the uh, ahi sabikis. And the first thing we caught is a little baby rooster, so I'm sure we're gonna catch some bigger ones. But man, they are pretty fish, aren't they? Look at the colors on that thing. Before I'd even got that fish back in the water, Louisa hooked up. Another baby rooster, Jimmy. Look at this one jumping. <laughs> Rooster fish are such a neat looking fish. They're just so colorful. So we got her rooster fish in and pulled it up and we started showing that pair of rooster fish off. It was a really cool way to start the morning with a nice double on rooster fish. Didn't even get a chance to get mine back in the water yet and she's already got one hooked up. I, I thought mine was gonna be the little fish of the day but it looks like uh, she got one even smaller. Yeah, mine a little smaller. <laughs> I, never caught a good... a, yeah, I never caught a small rooster like this. All the nice. ones I catch usually big. Yeah, good competition to have. We'll see you can catch the smallest one today. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Those two fish swam away with no problem at all. There's no reason at all to keep a rooster fish. They're not any good to eat. They're very, very dark meat. So when you catch them, you do want to get them back in the water pretty quickly so that they'll swim away healthy. So Louisa started putting one of those live baits out and she got hit as she was putting the live bait in the water. Got a fish on! All right, fish on! Woo! It's right here by the boat. It's really cool being able to fish with Louisa all the time and spend time on the water with her because she loves to fish, so it's always exciting to get out there with your better half and just pull in some fish and have a good morning inshore. Whoa! Whoa. Wow! <laughs> Jump like a largemouth bass. I was about to say this fish thinks he's a dolphin or something. It was another nice rooster fish, a little bit bigger than the other ones that we'd hooked. When you start catching rooster fish one size, they usually all start coming in that size because when they get schooled up, they school up with fish about the same size as themselves. Another nice rooster fish from Louisa. All right. <laughs> Such an overcast day, a little gloomy out, but the little roosters are very active. Super aggressive fish. Yes, well done. <laughs> yes. Got a couple nice jumps out of them too, huh? Yeah. All right, this nice rooster fish put up a good fight, so we're about to release him now. Catch me when it's bigger. We'll be back for more Living the Dream right after the break. <laughs> 